Welcome to Ladies of the Kitchen. I'm Maria DeRosa. I am the founder, the creator of Ladies of the Kitchen, where we come together in a safe community, in person or online, and I help women heal through the art of cooking. Don't worry guys, I've got you covered too. Anyway, today I'm doing an interesting project. So I have a, an official professional photo shoot that's happening tomorrow, no, Monday. Yeah, see I'm ahead of my game on Monday. And in preparation, I always like to cook something new and different to try to get myself into the jam of feeling good and just being in the kitchen, fueling my body and my mind and getting creative. So here we are. You're gonna join me on a new adventure. I am taking leftover oatmeal, which by the way, having oats is one of the best foods you could put to fuel your body with. I've done a whole little thing on oatmeal. You can check it out on YouTube. So, we're gonna take leftover oatmeal and we're gonna create some muffins that we can have for our Sunday breakfast. And it's gonna be easy breezy because I'm not all about making it perfect. I'm about having a lot of fun. So we're gonna have some wet ingredients and we're gonna have some dry ingredients and we're gonna throw them, not throw them, but gently love them and put them into a muffin cup. Okay, so let's start with the wet ingredients. Wet ingredients. We're going to take two eggs, and if you like just the whites, it would be about the equivalent of about a third a cup of egg whites, depending on the size of your eggs. So we're gonna crack two eggs in here. I've already washed my hands, you guys. The oven is preheated at 350. All right, we're gonna stick those in to my first bowl here. Then the next wet ingredient that we're going to put in there is a half a cup of melted butter. And as you know, I like using Earth Balance, but I also came across this plant-based butter that I've been using for my pies, and I really like it. It's by Country Crock. So I'm going to use that, a half cup of melted. That's a wet ingredient. Then we're going to use one teaspoon of Forever Young made from scratch vanilla extract, which by the way, that'll be an upcoming video. It's really fun and easy to make. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of that. Woo, a little bit more, but hey, I love vanilla. It smells so good. Okay, so that's my wet ingredient. And then finally, we're going to put in the leftover oatmeal. And my two favorite utensils that we're gonna use, spatula and whisk. So I'm going to kind of chop the oatmeal up in there with my spatula. Put that on the side here. And now I'll use the whisk. And I'm gonna whisk it up a little bit so that all the chunks kind of get mushed recipes you can get out a lot of energy frustration and get the kids to help you with this you can't mess up whirling around in a bowl I mean come on and you know when I'm not on video I've got music I might have a little mini glass of my collagen with my tiny bit of hydrate or champagne it's just awesome. So there's my wet ingredient. You see it's a little bit lumpy. Now we'll do our dry ingredients. So we've got another bowl. One cup of almond flour. It's usually a ratio of one to one with regular flour, but because I like to have things a little bit more moisture and healthier, I like to use almond flour and you can find out when you experiment if you need to go up or down on that. But for this, it's one cup I'm going to use. So put that in. 
Now, in my oatmeal, I've already put a little bit of nutmeg and I've also put in a little bit of cinnamon in there. But at this point, if you really like that, you can add some more. But it's already been in my oatmeal. A sprinkle of each would be great. Okay, then a cup of brown sugar. Put that in there. And that's organic brown sugar that I really like. Then we're going to use one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. So put that in there. Get that in there and we're gonna whisk those together. Since the other whisk is wet, I'm gonna grab another one. Always have my whisks around. And we're gonna stir that around so that we get all the dry ingredients mixed. And it's okay if it's lumpy. It's kind of cool. Makes it look super homemade when it's done, I'm sure. Okay, now we'll add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. Make sure we get all the little goodies in here. And we're gonna whisk this around. That's gonna be a little lumpy. But that's good. Now once I get most of the lumps out, I'm going to add one cup, and I found these amazing raisins that I like at Gelson's. They're totally organic, been dried properly, not added with a lot of sugar and other stuff that is in the packaging process. And the cool thing is, I recently heard at my local um, library here, Valerie Bertelli, Bert, Bertinelli, who I totally love, Van Halen fans, you know what I mean. And she says one of her favorite places to shop is Gelson's, because they do have a lot of organic farms that they are in cohort with. So I'm gonna add the one cup of raisins, then take my spatula, mix that in and this is going to now be my muffin batter you'll be able with this recipe to make about 12 total and we are going to put them into some paper cup liners i found these on amazon i've been doing some research on the type of cupcake liners that are good for you and that also don't stick. Unfortunately, a lot of them on the market, some are sold by some pretty high-end and fun places that we visit. I'm not gonna name those places, but this one I found on Amazon and um, you could get like almost a hundred of them for less than $5. So make sure there's only two or three companies that really make the ones that are um, non-stick and also toxic free. So I take one scoop. You can use, um, I have a large soup spoon that's kind of rounded that I like, but you could also use an ice cream scoop. So we're gonna put those in, scoop by scoop, and then we'll put that into our oven. And we will be cooking that, you guys, for, oh, Hold on just a second. I want to check out my little notes that I wrote to myself. I think anywhere between 15 and 18 minutes. I'm kind of experimenting. So I'm going to finish putting these into my muffin cup. And you will see me back after these have baked to see what they look like. So here we go in the muffin cup. And I will see you shortly back you've heard the expression the test is in the pudding or something like that I'm not that good with my proverbs because I'm bilingual so sometimes I think of the Spanish but in any case the test is now the muffin let's see it I checked it at 15 minutes and it looked like it still needed another three to four minutes so I did that so now I think we're ready to go I put in a toothpick just before I started this so let's see 
Pretty nummy. So I'm gonna put those down and I've got a nice cupcake rack. So I'm just gonna gently pull them out. Here we go. And stick them on there to cool. And what I thought would be a nice little treat is that I am going to sprinkle while they're hot and cooling, a little bit of raw Turbolinda raw brown sugar. If you're wondering what that white is, it's marshmallows, jumbo marshmallows, because what I do is I put that at the bottom of my canister, the moisture, um, it sucks up the moisture and it keeps the brown sugar from clumping. Just a little tidbit there. So, we take the small little teaspoon and I'm going to put a little light sprinkle on my muffin and there you guys go yes the twice baked oatmeal muffin and maybe uh, tomorrow morning I'll sprinkle a little honey on it or maybe a little melted butter or just have it as is I think it's gonna be yummy See you next time on Ladies of the Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed this. The recipe will be below. Please subscribe to ladiesofthekitchen.com. You'll see all the recipes there or the YouTube every week. There's something new and different on the YouTube Ladies of the Kitchen. Take care. Bye.